From the gates of hell to the most amazing archaeological discoveries, these incredible discoveries were all found in caves. Don't forget to click subscribe to become part of the DTR family and that little bell icon so that you know when we post new videos. Number 12. Gambling Cave Archaeologists discovered hundreds of prehistoric dice gaming pieces at a Utah Great Salt Lake cave in 2015. Researchers exploring Cave 1 of the site found carved sticks, dice, hoops, and other trinkets that were used in indigenous chants and skill games. They projected that there could be as many as 10,000 of such items still uncovered within the area. The artifacts shine a light on ancient gambling practices in the western U.S. Archaeologists from the Brigham Young University and the University of Alberta are still studying the gambling artifacts in attempts to recreate the life of the cave's early inhabitants. It's also quite interesting how the artifacts are remarkably preserved and it just goes to show that gambling has been a game of choice for many, spanning over decades in time. That's not only what the cave has yielded in discoveries, and in the 1930s, archaeologists found an assortment of artifacts including elk bones, butchered bison, and hundreds of moccasins dating 20 to 30 years back. Number 11. Egypt's Oldest Writings In 2016, authorities unveiled 30 papyri containing what is believed to be samples of ancient Egyptian writing dating back 4,500 years. The papyri were found inside the caves of the old Wadi Al Jarf Red Sea port, and they provide an insight into how life was for the port workers during King Khufu's dynasty. The hieroglyphics made an incredible revelation that the port workers had a hand in the construction of the Pyramid of Giza. Some of the other findings included a 3,000-year-old mummy inside a brightly colored, well-preserved wooden sarcophagus. A 4,500-year-old funerary boat remains uncovered around the Abusar pyramids, and a 3,400-year-old necropolis with dozens of rock-cut tombs. Number 10. Atapuerca Archaeological Site the Sierra de Atapuerca Caves contain an incredible collection of Europe's earliest human beings. The site deposits date back to the Pleistocene era, and the cave still houses the fossils. Decades of study have gone into the caves and the 28 remains found within it. Scientists believe that they were inhabitants of the Cima de los Huesos area, also known as the Pit of Bones, about 430,000 years ago. They are said to have had a similar stature to modern humans, but they were broader in girth and more robust. Research also revealed that the early men preferred using their right hands and they had a similar size difference between males and females, much like today. 2016 findings confirmed that the fossils belonged to primitive Neanderthals, something that hadn't been conclusively settled for decades since the discovery of the cave and the remains. A big thank you to all you guys who leave us comments. For today's video, we are giving a shout out to Tomas Ortiz who commented on our video Mysterious Tiny Mummies and Skeletons. Sounds like you made some great finds, Tomas. Number 9. Mount Owen Moa An expedition exploring the Mount Owen cave systems in 1986 came across a gigantic claw. The well-preserved talon suggested that the creature it belonged to might have just met its death not long before that. Further excavation and inspection revealed that it belonged to an upland moa. The gigantic prehistoric bird native to New Zealand had disappeared from existence decades before that, which was quite fascinating given the well-preserved nature of the claw. However, DNA analysis suggested that the first moa lived around 18.5 million years ago and at least 10 species of the bird existed. Some moa subspecies could stand at 10 feet tall and they were once the world's largest birds. The upland moa was the smaller size member of the species and most reached about 4.2 feet in height. Number 8. Cave of Altamira the Cave of Altamira in Spain is adorned by prehistoric paintings discovered in 1879. An amateur archaeologist along with his daughter stumbled upon the cave with Paleolithic drawings made using natural earth pigments and charcoal. They depict an extinct cattle species known as aurochs, deer, bison, horses, and the outlines of human hands. After study, scientists said that the drawings had been likely created between 14,000 and 18,500 years ago. 
However, recent studies disputed the findings and suggest that the Altamira artwork was drawn about 35,600 years ago. That was the time when humans had just started inhabiting Northern Europe. Number 7. Earliest Winery In 2007, Irish and Armenian archaeologists discovered a 6,100-year-old winery within the Arini 1 cave complex in Armenia. The winery had fermented vats, pottery sherds, a wine press, and storage jars said to have been at the very least a thousand years older than the Judea and Samaria winery unearthed in 1963. The same location was the site of the discovery of the world's oldest shoe dubbed the Arini 1 shoe in 2008. It's not known which people inhabited the region and run the winery 6,100 years ago, but researchers believe it could have been the Cura Araxis people. It's also thought that the area might have been a burgeoning trade hub around that time. Number 6. Liang Bua Teeth A pair of old human teeth said to have been at least 46,000 years old were found in the Indonesian Liang Bua Cave. Located on the Flores Island, the cave was once home to a one-meter-tall hobbit, but the teeth are significantly younger than the hobbit's remains discovered at the same location. The hobbit, scientifically known as Homo floresiensis, had its remains found in the cave in 2003. It puzzled researchers because carbon dating placed it at about 11,000 years old and at that time Southeast Asia had already been colonized by Homo sapiens. Redating work on the cave began in 2016 and it pushed the extinction of the hobbits to around 50,000 years back. The set of teeth discovered in 2010 and 2011 are believed to have belonged to Homo sapiens because of their larger size compared to the hobbit's teeth. Number 5. Lazca Cave Paintings In 1940, Marcel Ravadat, a mechanic apprentice, took a walk in the woods around Montignac, southwestern France. He came across a mysterious cave entrance and returned later on with three friends to explore what was within. They found lots of painted figures depicting felines, bulls, stags, horses, and people. The friends made a pact that they would keep the cave a secret, but barely a week passed by and they told a teacher, also a prehistoric art expert, about their discovery. The public was finally able to visit the cave after the 1948 war, but it closed again 15 years later because of the human-induced decline to the cave's conditions. Currently, visitors can only visit the cave by taking virtual tours of a Lascaux II replica. Number 4. Oldest Homo sapiens bones Just last year, a team of scientists unearthed fossils in a Jebel Urhound cave in western Morocco. They are, at the moment, the oldest known Homo sapiens bones dating back to about 300,000 years ago. While studies on the bones are still ongoing, if the findings are right, it would make the bones over 100,000 years older than those found in Ethiopia. Researchers looking into the bones are focusing on the argument that there wasn't just one cradle of mankind, and humans evolved in diverse locations around the African continent. Number 3. Dead Sea Scrolls Three Bedouin shepherds following after a lost goat ended up at a cave near the ancient Qumran. This was back in 1947, and when they entered the cave, they found clay jars with seven papyrus scrolls. The shepherd boys sold the papyri to a Bethlehem-based antique dealer, and soon scholars caught wind of the extraordinary find. They could only locate the cave two years later, and the decades that followed, several excavations of 11 caves led to the discovery of about 900 texts of the Second Temple Apocrypha, the canonical Hebrew Bible, and ideologies written by Jewish sectarian groups. The first seven scrolls had included copies of the books of Deuteronomy, Genesis, Kings, Exodus, and Isaiah, as well as Psalms, calendars, and hymns. The texts are thought to have been written around the 4th century BCE going to the 1st century CE. The Qumran scrolls outranked the then-known oldest manuscript of the Hebrew Bible by over a thousand years. Just last year, archaeologists from Israel's Hebrew University discovered the 12th cave in the Judean cliffs containing a parchment inside a jug believed to have been a stolen Dead Sea scroll. Number 2. Guardians of the Gates of Hell In 2013, archaeologists in Turkey stumbled upon a fascinating discovery which turned out to be the Gate of Hell, also referred to as Pluto's Gate. Greco-Roman mythology believed that it was the portal leading to the underworld. 
Archaeologists also found two marble statues that acted as guardians to the deadly cave. One of them depicted a snake, which has often been considered a symbol of the underworld, and the other was a three-headed watchdog. Ancient accounts have often described the cave entrance that led to the old Phrygian city as having been densely filled with vapor and mist that you could barely see the ground. It's said that animals that dared pass the gate met instant death, and archaeology professor Francesco D'Andrea, who led the team that made the discovery, supported the claim. The cave is thought to be filled with lethal mephitic vapors, and it could have been the reason why guardians were stationed outside, warning unsuspecting visitors from entering. Number 1. Mexico's Cave of Crystals About 18 years ago, two brothers working a mining tunnel around the Nayaca Mountain in Chihuahua, Mexico for Industrias Pinolas stumbled upon an incredible find. Buried 1,000 feet beneath the Earth's surface is the Nayaca Cave of the Crystals found in Chihuahua, Mexico. The cave is filled with humongous-sized crystals with some measuring more than 36 feet in length. The heaviest of them weigh as much as 55 tons, and they are believed to have been growing in the cave for over 50,000 years. To enter the cave, you need a specialized cooling suit and can only stay inside for just 45 minutes. It's because of the temperatures inside the cave that peak at 136 degrees Fahrenheit with about 90 to 99 percent humidity. The air inside is also acidic, and there's no natural light flooding into the cave. Just last year, scientists discovered 40 different ancient microbe strains trapped inside the crystals. Thanks for watching! Coming up next, most rare and valuable gemstones in the world. Self said that he considered it one of God's greatest creations that he had to guard. He finally entrusted it to Catherine Jetter, an Australian jewelry designer who debuted it at a Wynn Hotel Las Vegas Couture show for US $3 million. The black opals generally sell at $3,500 per.